determined that a rail car containing hazardous materials is in acceptable condition for transportation, all loaded and residue hazardous material shipments must be inspected. These inspections are required before accepting from the shipper, when receiving at interchange, when placing them in a train, and at other points where an inspection is required, such as a 1,000-mile inspection. Run-through trains received at interchange may continue to the next inspection point before being inspected. Remember that unless a tank car has been cleaned and purged, it is not considered empty. It is a residue car, and these requirements still apply. Also remember to comply with chain of custody requirements for loaded tank cars containing toxic or poison inhalation hazards, and rail cars containing more than 5,000 pounds of Class 1.1, 1.2, and 1.3 explosives or spent nuclear fuel. From the ground level only, without climbing on the car and while walking along the car, inspect all rail cars, trailers, and containers transporting hazardous materials. And you must inspect both sides of the rail cars. When inspecting, look high and low. Be attentive for unsecured manways and protective housings. Check fittings and valve covers, and watch for signs of leaking product, such as drips, wetness, a vapor cloud, or hissing sounds. Make sure the placards match the shipping papers, and ensure placards are affixed to both ends and both sides of the rail car and are all the same. If any placards are damaged, they must be replaced. Inspect both sides and both ends of hazmat cars for tampering and unusual or suspicious objects placed or attached to the rail car. Your safety is the priority. If there is indication of tampering or foreign object found, move to a safe location and follow your company's policies. Do not use a cell phone or radio near the suspected device. Visible plugs and caps, including bottom outlet caps, must be securely in place. If the bottom outlet cap or its plug is missing or off and swinging on its chain, it must be reinstalled and tightened. Do not accept the car for transportation and follow your company's notification requirements. Shown here are two examples of correctly closed and pinned valve handles. And, in these photos, the retaining pin is not in place. In these instances, it must be installed. Do not accept the car for transportation 